Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Marquita here with Late Nights Early Mornings and today I am going to be talking about a few gift ideas that you could use um, to fill in your last minute gift shopping. So if you are a last minute gift shopper, which a lot of people are for various reasons, sometimes it's just a lack of time, sometimes it's a lack of money, and sometimes it's a combination of the two. Um, but that's all good because we got you covered and there are some benefits to being a last minute shopper and one of those is actually being able to snag some good deals um, and discounts because a lot of items the closer it gets to Christmas stores start to mark them down. You may end up getting some really good deals. Also, I'm here to remind you, do not forget about your other not so common stores like CVS and Walgreens when it comes to gifts. They actually have some really cute stuff and I'm actually going to show you one of the items that I picked up that will make a very cute gift, especially for um, those Christmas parties at work or holiday parties at work. So I'm going to be showing you a few things that I've picked up in the past, probably most of mostly this month and maybe some things um, from Black Friday on just some deals that are for the most part still available or at least the items are probably still available. Um, and if not the exact items, at least being able to give you the idea um, of what you might be able to get certain people in your life that you are still shopping for or that you just started shopping for. We'll start with some goodies at a store that I frequent and that is Ulta. So Ulta Beauty, if you're not familiar, is a pretty much beauty skincare store. You can get fragrances, you can get makeup products, you can get um, skincare products. So that is for someone if you um, have someone who's into makeup, someone who's into skincare, they carry many, many popular brands. Um, and so some of them are on sale. And one of my favorite brands there is um Fenty Beauty and you guys know Fenty is Rihanna um the singer Rihanna's makeup brand so if you are new to my channel I'm a, a very big Rihanna stand for everything that she does but definitely her makeup line is one that I pretty much shop and buy all of my cosmetics from at this point um so right now she did release a holiday collection and so it has some colors that were new in the lip glosses and lipstick area and so i did pick up a few of those and i'll share those with you just in case they might be um ideal for someone on your list but not only that but also um they might be just ideas to get you thinking about something to get for someone that you know or that's on your list. So I'll start with the case. So if you are familiar or if you aren't familiar with um, Fenty's line and with the lipstick line in particular, Rihanna's idea behind the lipstick was to be slightly eco-friendly. And to do that, she um, they provided the case separately than the lipstick. So usually when you buy lipstick, it's in the tube or the casing. Um, so what they did was they give you the case or you have the option to buy the case by itself and then you just refill or purchase refills for the lipstick cases. So when you do go to purchase a new lipstick color, you're not actually purchasing a full case. You're only purchasing the color tube. And so I picked up two new colors. I do own a few of these as well as a few other cases, but I picked up two new colors that are part of the holiday collection as well as the case that came out for the holiday collection. It is the Berry Edition. The other two colors are matte black and like a rose gold. Those are the standard colors. But this particular holiday edition, berry edition, is a pretty kind of fuchsia pink or fuchsia pinkish purple rather, which, well, that's fuchsia. And so what happens is you would take one of your refill colors and the two colors that I picked up because these are both um, the lipsticks here were colors number 11 which is a loudspeaker and loudspeaker looks like a kind of fuchsia color and then color 13 let me get that to focus rowdy roadie and that's kind of like a a deep kind of um mauvey chocolatey color I don't know why that won't focus, but either way, um, their colors are 11 and 13. And again, they're both part of the holiday collection. So I don't know if they will be around much longer after the holidays. That includes the case, but because they are holiday or seasonal items, Ulta has them marked down. So the cases usually run $12 each, but right now they're on sale for $8.40, just the berry edition. 
um, from what I could see, at least when I purchased it, the other cases are still a regular price of $12. And then the lipsticks are um, also marked down. They typically run for $20 each and they are marked down for $14 each. So you save a little bit of coin on both of those there. Another item um, that I picked up from Ulta and this is just a general um thing here and it's just a fragrance so if you have someone that you maybe know what they like or at least the types of scents that they like um fragrance is also another great idea this particular fragrance is the alien goddess fragrance from Mugler. and it is a travel spray because i do have tons of fragrance so i typically just buy the travel sprays one thing I love about this is this beautiful bottle is very eye catching. It's not going to sit in my um stand in my fragrance stand by itself, but um it is a very cute and unique bottle. If you are familiar with the Alien line as well as just Mugler, most of their um stuff does kind of have a little interesting or unique twist to it and so that's one thing that drew me to the line in terms of my interest in the line. I haven't purchased any of the fragrances in full size uh, or even any of the travel sprays i have received samples and whatnot throughout um the years and i do like the alien line i just because i have so many fragrances it's just not one that i had at the top of my list to go for but this alien goddess was actually one that sounded like something i would really really like so i decided to pick that up this is a floor falls in the floral family and it is considered also earthy and woody when it comes to the families that it belongs to it has top notes of sparkling bergamot from italy the middle note is magnificent jasmine from india and that's what drew me to it because i love any almost anything with jasmine and the majority of my favorite fragrances do contain a note of jasmine somewhere in there and the base is decadent vanilla from madagascar so those are the um, notes the main notes in this fragrance and once i saw the jasmine i was hooked because i knew nine times out of ten i'm gonna love it because this was a blind buy for me and it retails um as the travel spray for $35 so it's a little bit more expensive than some of the other um travel sprays a lot of the travel sprays usually start around 25 bucks um but again this is a higher end brand and line so when you think about it like the larger bottles are about $90 starting so um the travel size is usually a little pricier when you have the more expensive full-size bottles but they do have some that are very budget friendly in terms of being like around 25 bucks which some people set like a limit between 25 30 bucks so you can definitely get something else in that range and then they also have uh travel fragrances from some brands that are a little um less expensive like the philosophy brand they have um wonderful fragrances as well i know a lot of people are very fond of the amazing grace scent so that's something else that you guys can look into but again travel sprays are great um for people that like fragrances and the great thing about it is you can return it if you don't like it so i would just say if you're taking a chance and if you're like hey i know they typically like um floral things and you get them something that falls in that family and they don't like it just get them a gift receipt and for the most part, I think as long as they maybe just, you know, sprayed it once or twice and realized they didn't like it, they should be able to return it. So you won't lose your money there. So it's okay to try to blind buy. Um, the other thing with Ulta is if you are a Ulta Rewards member, um, they're doing five times points on fragrance right now. So you will definitely rack up while you're also getting gifts for others. You'll also be winning by getting tons and tons of points to redeem for something for yourself later on down the line. Um, there are also all kinds of coupons coming out with Ulta. So if you are a rewards member, check your app um, or check your account. There are tons. There's Right now, there's a 20% 20 off coupon for a fragrance that includes fragrances it's for anything. But 20% off and it includes fragrances as well. So one-time use, you can use it in-store or online. And it does include the prestige items, um, which a lot of times the regular coupons do not. Prestige are the, basically the name brand items that you would probably usually want to buy anyway. Um, and so, you know, Ultra is typically divided into two sides. And the prestige side, usually those items are excluded from coupons, but this 20% off coupon does include those items. Um, one more thing in the 
fragrance category that I want to share with you is gift sets. So this is a great time of year for buying fragrances, especially with the gift sets. You can typically get more bang for your buck. Um, what you would spend for the bottle by itself, you can end up getting like a lotion or the bottle and the travel spray or all kinds of extras that they put in the gift set for the same price or just a couple of dollars more, literally a couple of dollars more. So now is the time to look into gift sets. Um, most stores carry some form of gift sets, especially when it comes to fragrances. But even with apparel and accessories and things like that, like hats, gloves, scarves, all that, you can find really nice gift sets at an affordable price. And you typically get a better deal by getting a gift set than getting an individual item from a certain brand. So I treated myself for my birthday. For those who don't know, um, today that I'm filming this is actually my birthday, but December is my birthday month and I pretty much treat myself all month. So most of what you see is part of that. But with my Ulta points, because I am a platinum member, um, which is the middle tier, there's three tiers. Um, because I am a platinum member, my points do not expire. So what I do is I save them up until the end of the year which would be december and then i treat myself to a higher end um, purchase or larger purchase using my points and it's typically free or very heavily discounted in this case this is probably my best point redemption to date i combine my 20 percent coupon along with my points to get this tiffany gift set for free 99 and in this gift set, which retails for $155, and they do have this gift set for the other fragrance. This is the Tiffany Rose Gold Fragrance. They do have the regular fragrance, which is just the Tiffany fragrance. It, it also comes in the same set where you get the lotion, the biggest bottle, the 2.5 ounce. And then you also get a little, I think, what do they call it? The coffee or whatever little thingy. This is like the dipper, the little dab, dabster. Um, it doesn't have a spray, unfortunately. I hate those that, that don't have the spray, but this one is that. Um, but... This is still a good deal because this was $155. However, the, the big bottle by itself is like $148 or $49. So for just a few dollars more, I got the lotion and this little bonus travel size here. So this is a great um, set if you know somebody who won, either loves Tiffany & Company, loves this particular scent. Like I said, they do have other Tiffany sets. They do have um, a few of the different fragrances in different variants of sets, but they do have the original that comes just like this with these three and I think they are the same price so these are also available in store and online and yes the 20% coupon actually works on this sometimes the super high end like Chanel is always excluded no matter what um so you'll never be able to use a coupon on that but you can use your points so if you are like me and you have points and you rack up you can treat yourself or um be so kind as to treat others to that as well and with the point multipliers going on, even if you are spending money, you're getting bang for your buck. Imagine spending $155, but you got five times the points. That right there would pay itself off. So definitely think about that if you're a rewards member at um, Ulta, about how you can make those points work in your favor. Another thing that I treated myself to was the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. These are pretty much wireless hip wireless earbuds similar to the um apple airpods and these are lavender which i'll actually show you here they come in their little self-charging case just like the um airpods and then of course there's a charger for the case as well and you open them up and there they are they do come with the different um ear size things if you need to adjust those i just use the ones that it comes with it's fine um, I got these, they retail for $229.99, but as a Verizon um, member or whatnot, rewards member for the Verizon Up program, I got a, I had one of my, um, I guess you say deals for the month of December was 50% off of these. They also come in black. So if you know someone who, you know, would prefer black or if you're buying them for yourself, you prefer black. Um, They come in black, same look, just in black. But purple is my favorite color. So as you can see, this is more of a lavender. It looked more um purpley on the 
pictures but it's actually more of a lavender color but i still like them and again i got these for 50 percent off so i ended up paying like 120 121 dollars for these after my discount so definitely love 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 these already i've been enjoying them the battery life and sound quality are great um this has two-way speakers um, it is active noise counseling and also a very comfortable fit, five to 18 hours of playtime. So just another suggestion. And I do want to note that if you go on Amazon, just like everything else, it has different generations of models or whatever. The um, the Buds 2 is like the newer, the newest edition of them. But if you want to get the first edition of these, you can get them on Amazon for a hundred bucks. So if you're, if you know, you don't have any kind of discount with Verizon or you don't want to spend $229 on these, which that's a hefty investment. I would not pay that much. Um, I would not pay $200 for these, not because they're not good, but I wouldn't pay that for anything. I'm, I, that's why I don't own Air, AirPods either. And I do want to note that although these are a Samsung product, they do work with Apple products. They connect it to my, my iPad Pro with no problem. So they are interchangeable. I do have a Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus phone. They connected to that just fine, but they also connect it to my AirPod. I mean, to my I, iPad, <laughs> my iPad Pro perfectly fine. So it will connect to Apple devices if you're someone who's wondering about that. And next we have, and this could be for your, um, person who loves to cook and this could even be for a younger you know up and coming cook in your household if you have like younger kids who like to help out um or who like to be part of the action in the kitchen um this next item here will be perfect for them and that is the dash um in this one is the heart mini waffle maker but dash actually has quite a few of these waffle makers in different colors and shapes um i bought this set as a second edition for those who watch my channel you saw when i did my coles freebie video that i did buy the um gingerbread one which actually came as a gift set and i'll show you that in just a moment but this one is a heart shape you can also find these at target so i just want to put that out there because i know um everybody actually this one came from target so this one came from target but you can get these at target you can get them from kohl's there are a lot of places that sell dash products so you can find these mini waffle makers and they're kind of all the rage and they do make a good size, just in case you're wondering like, what size is a mini waffle maker. I would say it's about the size of an Eggo. Um, at least my gingerbread men one have been, and I'll insert a picture just so you can see it. But yeah, the one that I've used with that has been um, that price. I mean, it has been that size, so they are still very filling. And I use Belgium waffle mix, so it has a little bit of thickness to it. So they are great. Um, it's not required that you use Belgium waffle mix. That's just what I already had. So I use it. So I love it, love it, love it. And I love these waffle makers. It's very quick and easy. Um, it warms up in probably a minute or less. And then it only takes about a minute, depending on how brown you want your waffle. Um, it only takes roughly a minute to a minute and a half to cook so very easy to use and so your little helpers can help you out with that or if you just want to um, give them something fun um, when you're treating them to a breakfast this is the box for the gift set which actually came with a recipe book as well because there's so much you can do with the waffles and i can't wait to start playing around with them but they have everything from the regular to sandwiches to desserts so so many different ideas and this is what my gingerbread one looks like and they're so tiny and compact that if you also may have like a, a college age person or somebody that just maybe got their first apartment and they don't have a ton of space, especially if they're living in the city where apartments, um, the more space they have, the more expensive. So they probably have a small little spot um, or maybe they just have a small kitchen. These are great, um, great little appliances. You can put it so small. You can put it anywhere. Um, you can literally just put it in a silverware drawer <laughs> for the most part so they don't need a lot of space and they can still make themselves a great little breakfast so i would highly recommend that for anybody who likes um waffles likes to cook or even likes to or sandwiches because you can even make that for sandwiches so great little device under 15 bucks even when it's not on sale i think it's like 12.99 regular price i got the dash one on sale i mean the heart one on sale for 10.99 at target they have been as low as 7.99 and like i said you can find all kinds of deals right now so check them out next up 
I have this is actually one of my little finds from Walgreens and this is actually for me um, I actually went to Walgreens for something else but I saw these they had a bunch of Starbucks um, gift sets and they had this particular gift set and they also had this cup available in green so kind of like a rotated thing the cup was green and the hot cocoa was red and so you can get these. This is the 10 or 12 ounces. This is the 12 ounce. This is the 12 ounce cup. They also had one just like this, just a little taller. Um, I think it was 14 ounces. So you can get these. This was five bucks. So this is the perfect gift. This will make a great office gift. This will make a good um secret Santa, white elephant, all of those types of things that you may be involved in. Five bucks. And look at how cute that is. And so many people love coffee and Starbucks in particular. This is a great gift. And it really looks like you put a lot of thought and effort into it when Walgreens was just there for your rescue. Um, I got this last week and the sale, it was the weekly sale was 50% off the Starbucks stuff. They also had a two piece set that came with two cups and the cocoa for like $12.50. I don't know if everything is still half off because like I said, that was the weekly special. I'm probably going to swing by there in the next couple of days to check and see. So maybe I'll post something that states whether or not they are. If I do see it, um, just in case you want to know, but I would say swing by your local Walgreens and check it out because they did have a lot of Christmas items, um, gift sets, as well as supplies like uh, boxes and lights and all of that um, starting to be marked down or on some form of special or sale so check that out but again if you're looking for a quick gift five dollars gets you some cocoa and a cup from Starbucks or last but not least I do have one thing if again if you've been on my channel you have seen this little buddy here before and this says choose joy every day but it's a journal this particular journal is my gratitude journal and I talked about how that is something that I'm going to be incorporating into my trying to incorporate into my daily routine which is doing this every night um writing in my gratitude journal there are some prompts in here that you can adhere to um and I'll just show you what a blank page looks like. You put the date. It's not dated, so you can start at any time. Um, and it asks you a few questions here um, about, you know, your day and kind of causes you to reflect about some things that you are grateful for. And it's full of a lot of positive things and positive energy. Um, even when it asks you, did you spread a little kindness today? It says yes or not yet. It doesn't even say no. So there's no negativity in this journal. But if you know someone who likes to journal, um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a gratitude journal. It can just be a blank journal that has a cute cover. Um, and this is the one that kind of has like that leathery like feel cover. But this particular one is a gratitude journal, but you can get just a plain journal that's a pretty color, pretty design, and just blank pages on the inside for someone who likes to write or whatnot. So that's another gift. Very affordable. You can get these pretty much anywhere. This one came from Home Goods, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls. You can find these, and these are great. You can also find like very cute stationery, pens, all of that type of stuff to go along with it if you have someone who's like that. And don't forget planners. A lot of people do like those planners and the stickers and all of that stuff you can also find um cute planners and all that type of stuff in places like tj maxx ross marshall's um home goods and at a pretty affordable price you can also check michael's because they do tend to have the um sales on those items as well but that's another store where you can find planners as well as the planning stickers if you have someone who enjoys journaling and or planning so I hope that that gave you a few ideas in case you are hitting that last minute wall and you're just like, oh my goodness, what to get, what to get. And the last but not least, if you just honestly can't think of a gift to give someone, give them a gift card. If you, um, you can do the Visa, MasterCard, American Express or whatnot gift card if you just want to give them money where they can go spend it wherever they want and however they want. Or if you at least know what they like or where they like to shop, but you don't necessarily know like what they like to shop for. Like, for example, if you know someone wears makeup and they like makeup, but you don't know like what brand they like, what colors they like, get them an Ulta or Sephora gift card. Um, if you know that they shop at those stores, get them that and they can use that online or in store and they can get what they want or what they need whenever they want to. 
you can get Starbucks gift cards in as low as um, $5. So if you are on a budget or maybe you're just getting a little gift for someone at the office, $5, they'll buy at least one drink. Um, but if, typically if you go in like retail stores, they start at like $15 for the gift cards. But if you go to a Starbucks, you can start, I think, as low as $5. So those are great ideas to get um, to pretty much anywhere. Remember, gift cards are available for restaurants, for movies, for Target, Walmart, um, and of course you do have the retail stores. I typically like to give people the combo cards. Like for example, if I know they like TJ Maxx, I try to get them the one where they can use it. TJ Maxx, Marshalls, um, Home Goods. So they have a good variety. Home Sense. So they have a good variety of options to choose from, and they're not limited to one store. But if you know they really love one store or particularly shop somewhere, get them, you know, a a gift card to that particular store or again you can go with the generic visa mastercard whatever and they can use it how they please so those are just a few ideas and i hope that was somewhat helpful again if you're in that last minute spot for whatever the reason may be just remember that shipping cutoff times are pretty much here um i think at this point you might be able to get a couple more in the next day or two you might be able to get something out um with overnight but at this point you're probably going to be paying a, a high premium for that expedited shipping so at this point i would say stick to what you can actually put your hands on in the store and also with the way the postal service is set up we just don't want to risk you know not getting a gift i've had that happen before most of the people on my list are adults so you know gifts are just more of a thought process than it is um you know it's out of thought and out of tradition it's not so much as like you know a little kid expecting something to be under the tree so for me you know it's not a big deal if somebody's gift gets lost in shipping land or whatever and comes late i can always ship it to them later after christmas but if you do have young children or people who you know will need to have that gift you know on christmas or right around christmas before everything resumes after the christmas holiday then you want to go ahead and just get something that you can put your hands on so i would highly advise at this point if it's something that you know they want and you would have to order it online just go ahead and get them a gift card for that amount to that store um don't forget there's also e-gift cards so at this point if you just hate stores or if you're in a location where you know that like everything's gonna be crowded and the people and the lines are not for you i totally get it i feel you e-gift cards most places now have that option you can even send an e-visa card um you can do those through target for sure i've done it before so i know you for sure you can do it with target where you just send it um via email to that person so you don't even have to leave your house anymore if you don't want to and everybody can just get an e-gift card and life's good so that's just another benefit to the gift cards they have lots of flexibility and options so thanks so much for watching um put down in the comments what you're looking forward to in terms of the christmas sales or if there are any gift sets or special deals that you snagged or you're waiting to snag Put it down in the comments and let's talk about it. Sorry, my eyes are watering at this point. My contacts are drying out with this dry weather. But anyway, thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Happy holidays and be safe.